Without a doubt, the launch of Battlefield Hardline has been a resounding success, and Visceral Games should be given the credit they deserve for that. But now that my honeymoon period with the game has subsided just a little bit, I've ran into a few issues that I think need to be addressed in a future patch or an update to the game. Now before I begin, I'm going to try and show my top fixes here. These are the ones that I think need attention before any others. Your opinion might differ to mine, and that's okay. But for the purpose of this video, and in the spirit of not boring you to death with ultimately tedious information, I'll try and keep this on point as much as I can. First up, Team Deathmatch spawns. They're probably the worst that they've been in the franchise since Battlefield 3. Do you remember those days of Noshar Canal, 64 players? At launch, yeah, that wasn't fun at all. The spawns here in Hardline aren't great right now. They need a lot of work. On multiple occasions, the game would spawn me so close to an enemy group that I'd be instantly killed. And this happens consistently, regardless of the map that I'm playing. Now, this isn't entirely Visceral's fault. The spawn locations are designed to work with a maximum of 32 players on a server. That's the official number that TDM servers from EA are running, and that's what it's configured to. A lot of servers that I was playing on were running the full whack of 64 players, basically doubling the spawn rate of the server. But I would still argue that the spawns need work on those lower play count servers. No one likes dying as soon as they spawn. It gets really old really quickly, and people get frustrated. But luckily for us, Visceral have already acknowledged the issue and are working on a fix, which is great to hear. Next in line is RPG spam, and this is specific to the Hotwire game mode, though I would say it's kind of present in Conquest as well, but mainly we're talking about Hotwire here. This issue has only really become prevalent since the game went live. During the beta, Hotwire servers were using the official rule set and were limited to 32 players, but this has become more of an issue with those 64 player servers again. The amount of players that do actually equip the junk in the trunk upgrade for sedans and coupes is, is sky high. The price of the upgrade isn't exactly much to afford, and considering you're playing the game mode that awards the most XP and cash for playing the objective, all you really have to do is drive around in a car, you don't even have to be driving it, you can just be in the objective car, your points just go through the roof. It makes it all the more easy for somebody to unlock one of the most powerful weapons in the game. I've even seen players simply jump into a car in the spawn point, drive it to the edge of the game zone, jump out, get the RPG out of the boot, and then proceed to just camp behind rocks and signs, lying in wait for the next car to drive past. Now, that is part of this game mode. There is a little bit of walking around on the ground trying to find a vehicle, but when there are 32 of those players that are on the server that have got the same idea, that are all running around with RPGs, it can kind of make it a little bit frustrating to play. You end up getting blown up all the time. Something needs to be done to reduce the spam. Maybe increasing the price of the upgrade for the vehicles, or increasing the time between each instance that you're able to get the RPG out of the car, the cooldown period. I'm not sure which one would work best, but I think a little bit of experimentation needs to be done to try and reduce the RPG spam within Hotwire. Third piece of feedback, the spectator cam in 5v5 game modes. As Crosshair and Rescue are round-based game modes, when you die during a round, you don't respawn. As you'd expect, Visceral has built in a spectator camera for the time that you're dead to the time that you go back to the spawn screen so that you can watch your team try and win. Unfortunately, I've encountered at least three or four occasions where my spectator module wouldn't load up and I was stuck in the kill cam of the enemy player who just dropped me on the floor. Permanently. This essentially meant that I was screen cheating the enemy, I knew where he was, and I could just tell my teammates where to find him. Once the guy died, I lost my view of him, and instead I switched to a view of underneath the map somewhere. I guess that means it's down by the spawn screen. If you didn't know, the spawn screen is actually built into each map and is located underneath the, the base terrain. As I said, this did only occur a few times, but in essence it breaks the game mode. If at any point you see where the enemy is on the map, unless you're in first person, then well, that, that just can't happen. 
If Visceral are serious about esports for Battlefield Hardline, and by the indication that there will be rankings and ladders included in Premium, then this bug needs to be squashed out before any major tournaments kick off. My fourth and final piece of information and feedback for today, this one is fairly opinionated and you might not agree with me but I'm going to say it anyway. Having spoken to a few people over the last couple of days, I can actually say that I changed my mind on this point, but the way that the boosts work in Hardline, I have a little bit of a problem with it. They've changed a lot since Battlefield 4. No longer are they just an overall boost to your player, they're now broken down into categories like objective and team play boosts. This only awards you with extra XP and cash when you perform actions of those descriptions, and on top of that you can only apply these boosts to one class specifically, meaning you can have separate XP boosts for the operator and mechanic classes for example. That part I think is really really good, it's a really nice change from Visceral, but what I think might need to be changed is the way that that's applied in game. The XP boosts directly affect your in-game score, meaning if you have like a 200% objective boost on, if you go and cap a conquest flag every 20 seconds, your capture points on screen, the ones that flash up at the bottom where your kill notifications go, are incremented by 200% as well. Ultimately, if you were that try-hard player who was pushing for all the objectives on the map, your in-game score would be massively inflated in comparison to the rest of the people on the server, meaning you'd easily be able to take home MVP for the round. Personally, I don't think that that's very fair if one person applies the boost and the rest of the people don't get access to it. I much prefer that if you have the boost active, that it show the standard points or cash awards in the game that you're playing and then break down those extra points for you in the lobby afterwards when you're looking at all the points that you gain throughout the round. It gives a sense then on the scoreboard that everyone is on a level playing field. This is just my own interpretation. I don't really think it's right that somebody should be able to dominate a server just because they've got a 200% XP boost. I mean, you need to let me know what you think as well guys because that's kind of an opinionated point right there. But there we go. That's what I think that Visceral need to focus on within their first patch for Battlefield Hardline. Now there are lots of other things that I'm sure you guys have experienced so far, little niggles and little tweaks that you think might be effective in an upcoming patch. So I want to make sure that you're leaving comments down below today because I'm hoping that the developers are going to see this video and they might be able to act on some of our feedback. So do leave comments today, that'd be great. But that is the end of the video today guys, so thank you very much for watching. If you could leave me a thumbs up, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on the latest games and use the code west for an additional discount. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.